cloning. Is it possible? We know that Dolly the sheep um, was the first living being to supposedly be cloned. What I'm talking about here isn't conspiracy theories, it's just the thoughts of consciousness. Things I think about. Especially upon watching Star Wars, I'm a big Star Wars fan, um, really admire it, you know, about the force and energy and and if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry, spoilers warning. <laughs> but such as um, the Clone Wars, um, the Clone Troopers, the Storm Troopers that have been, you know, clones, especially like Palpatine. Um, what happens, and I'm, I'm talking about in real life here, but obviously watching movies gets me curious. Like in Avatar, you know, those bodies have been, have been genetically modified using the human DNA with the... Uh, the Navi DNA to create this almost, you know, eight ninety percent Navi um, avatar for humans to embody. And although that idea, that that movie is basically those are vessels, um, you know, allowing humans to then occupy it as a vehicle. But then, what happens to clones that are out there is it just like are there opportunities for souls or spirits to to have an incarnation on earth and experience that life because some some clones like some be like beings living beings aren't born in a natural way and perhaps I'm saying this in the way of a a lab experiment you know, of like a, an artificial womb, if that is possible. What happens then to um, the clone, the clone body? You know, does it is it from a fresh new soul, a fresh new spirit, or is it partly there? Maybe it's not properly in the body. These are things that I just think about sometimes and gets me curious. Like, yes, of course, it would be a, a spirit or soul in there because. It's free will, like this is a living being that's being created. Um, and portals, you know, energies. Women are all, you know, they have portals inside them, the same as the men, you know, they allow the, the energy of the masculine um, to channel through them, to be anchored in, the K1 kidney one point on the foot to be grounded. You know our chakras being connected. When we make when we make love, then our bodies are, you know, all of our cells, our whole being is is merging our energies with our beloved. And then with the man giving his seed to the woman to then procreate at the right time when the right spark, because like when they have activated um, cells in, in, in labs, they, they use electricity to ignite like growth or um, other things to, to ignite it, to, to get the, the growth of like the embryo and stuff like being, being made. So the same happens in the body when that electrical current of like perhaps Kundalini is making that, that soul, you know, that, that body. It's a very s small, tiny cell that grows and grows very, very fast. And then when the woman is ready to give birth, she's not just giving birth, she's she's opening up a, well, even the time of the first heartbeat of the, the new, you know, the baby inside the, the woman, is that that's the entrance point of a, a spirit to like come into the body, a soul, and you like, you know, a soul to come into that body and to inhabit that body, to own that, that path, however way that, has been done. So like what happens during that time of conception, you know, when, when you know, a male and female and, and animals too, when, you know, especially mammals, um, that, that spark, that ignition, ignition of energy that allows that, that new being to be started its growth, its journey from two cells from the mother and the farmer, mother and father, not farmer, to uh, procreate, to come together and to then ignite and then to start growing this being. 
and I've heard that when the, the the heart starts to beat, it's when the heart starts to beat, as that's when the energy of that living being has started its descent into the body, like it's connected. That that new like spirit, that journey for that living being has just connected. It's connected itself. That spirit has connected itself to that body to then be connected, and like nothing else can 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 come in and interfere. It's kind of, that spirit is almost like a law, like of an energetic law. Like that spirit now owns that body, and then the birth happens, and then the nurturing and then the right conditions help the nurturing and, and the soul growth, the the spirit growth, the consciousness, the emotional intelligence. The physical body growing. It's an amazing thing. If you haven't heard of reports, reports before, reports are. It's a phenomena in uh, physical mediumship where items, objects are materialized from, from like nowhere. They come through like a portal, area, come through a grid from one place on Earth to, to the, the seance or the through the medium. And if you think about it, we are all ports. We have all been apported by our mothers who have given energy to grow us, to create us, that our spirit is the apport coming in through the mother, you know, our mother. And, and allowing us to land here on earth and to arrive. And what such a beautiful thing to experience and to be. We may not remember that journey of how we got here spiritually, like as a spirit, as, as a personality, as an energy of, of what, who I am, that I think this, you know, me. We may not remember that journey of how we got here when we were a, a very tiny person. But whatever it is, you know, our journey allowed us to be here in a very magical way. So thanks for listening. These are just rambles on my mind. Feel free to leave a comment down below, um, share experience or some knowledge. Let's learn from one another. Um, thank you for listening to my ramblings and um, I'll speak to you again. Goodbye.